lie. What is your intention? What is it that you are trying to achieve by saying this thing? Is that what's going to happen? No? Then don't say it. Hello everybody. <laughs> Hello everyone. My name is Jeem aka J. Eve Marie. Welcome back to Soul, also known as Student of Life. Now today our topic is shh. Keep your mouth shut. No. There are things that we say that range from unnecessary to downright detrimental to the intention that we had when we say it. So to say think before you speak is most definitely an understatement. Today I have for you um, a list of situations where it would be best to be quiet before saying what you're thinking in these moments. Now the first one that I have is definitely something that I am still working on and I call it the rambles. <laughs> so really my biggest advice I have for someone who rambles or you're in a rambling situation just think it through. Before you open your mouth to say anything, think it through. Um, you want to make sure that you are clear and concise, straight to the point, and honestly, when you are not those things, um, it feels like a waste of time and the person most likely will miss the message that you are trying to say and all of the information that you give. Um, so yeah, if you have the rambles, please just try to keep it clear and concise and think it through before you say anything. I'm definitely still working on this one, but <laughs> it's actually one of the main reasons that I have notes. Not necessarily to forget, but because I feel like I can just blurb out a whole lot of information, like right now. So, <laughs> clear and concise, clear and concise. So the next situation that I'm going to talk about is criticism. One thing that you want to ask yourself is what is your intention and what do you hope will come out of this? And also, just to add on to that, you want to be able to ask yourself if the message that you're going to give will be well received. And if it will not be well received, do you think that you're actually going to achieve this goal if they're not going to receive the message that you're trying to give? So I feel like those are very, very important things to ask yourself when you are giving the criticism or before you give the criticism. And for this tip, I would actually refer back to my video of who are you really helping? Because that the main point of that video is assessing the intention behind you trying to help someone else. And the reason why I say that is because criticism should be constructive. And you want to ask yourself, is this constructive? And I think that video really, since it helps um, assess the intention that you have behind helping somebody, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because criticism should be instruct constructive. So if you are, and since that video helps to assess whether or not, or it helps us assess the intuition behind why you're trying to help someone, I think it'll really help with moving forward with how to give the criticism, if there is any constructive criticism to, to give. <laughs> now, if it's just something that you don't like or it just annoys you, but it's not something that you could actually, how do I say this? Hmm. Because it, there's a difference between something that annoys you and something that bugs you and something that basically can you deal with it ooh ooh is it a deal breaker hmm basically when it comes to criticism when it comes to criticism are you nagging <laughs> like is it something that you don't like about that person but it doesn't actually affect you in any way like you may not like that person's you don't mean you may not like their boyfriend but it doesn't actually affect your personal life you may not like the way they cook but they don't cook for you things like that like when you give constructive criticism you have to think about whether or not it's worth giving and like i said what is the intention is it worth giving and will it be well received so that is the biggest point with Self-criticism. Self-criticism. Ooh, <laughs> maybe someone needed to hear that. But that is the biggest thing when it comes to critic when you're giving criticism. Because sometimes when it doesn't fit any of these situations, it's best just to be silent. Mmm. Now, this next one is something that I had to learn the hard way. And this situation is about your future goals and your plans. So this is something that I 
thoroughly think it's important to be silent about. And if you do decide to speak on these things, you want to ask yourself these questions. So are you asking for help and or advice from someone who could actually provide this thing? Now, there is a quote called, don't ask a broke man how to get rich. Because you could just be saying because it's um, you're really inspired, you got this idea, but the person that you're asking or you're speaking to it about can't actually give you anything, whether even if it's encouragement, whether it's advice, whether it's any hands-on work, they can't, if they cannot provide that thing, I think it's definitely best to be silent in this moment. And also, I did hear a quote that says, it's best not to speak about what you're working on until you're done. And so for two reasons, some people will put the idea down because they can't see how that it'll actually work out. Like, and that can take a lot of the encouragement that you had and the inspiration that you had to get it done just away from you, especially if it's someone that you hold in a really high regard. Now that goes back to if this person cannot help you, do not say anything. <laughs> do not say anything because otherwise it's just an opinion and it could steer your perception of that thing in a different way. Second thing is some people want to steal the idea from you. Now someone could say hey that's really good and just be really nonchalant about it and then go and do it and some people will even put the idea down which has happened to me um people have told me that that's wrong that's a bad idea i don't like that whatever then literally a month later you see them doing that thing and it's so infuriating so infuriating <laughs> so like i said i had to learn this one the hard way but um yeah yeah yes 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 when it comes to future goals or plans, be silent until you are not even ready to execute that thing. Be silent unless you are speaking to someone who can help you. And when you are done and you are ready to show it to the world, then I think it's best to speak about it. Otherwise, just, just keep your mouth shut. Um, yes. Ooh, ooh. Now, this next situation is pretty harsh, pretty harsh, but I feel like it definitely needs to be said. Um, okay, so for this situation, it can definitely be seen as pretty harsh, and I, I am also, I've also had to learn from this um, the hard way, but um, this one is, when you have nothing to say, be quiet, be quiet. Now, I definitely understand that there's situations where there's just small talk being had, um, but other times there could be a group or a few people who are having a conversation, and sometimes you just want to add to the conversation just to be a part of it. Now, at these, or just to be heard, just to be a part of it or just to be heard. Um, at these times, it's best to listen to the information that is being given out, especially when there's nothing of substance to be said on your part. I'm gonna say that again. At these times, it's best just to listen to the information that's being given out instead of saying something that has no substance and sometimes it's not even related <laughs> to the conversation. So, and this one, I'm gonna add the proverb. I heard someone say it's an African pro proverb. I don't know if it actually is, but we all know God gave us two ears and one mouth for a reason. Listen, just just listen sometimes. Um, just listen, <laughs> just listen. Sometimes it's just, and sometimes we just speak. Some of us are just talkers. We're just talkers. We like to talk. We like to talk. Some of us think out loud and that also goes on to the rambling the rambling aspect and it's only when we get to the end of it that we realize that it wasn't as relevant as we thought it was or it's not as helpful as we thought it was or something of the sort. Just think it through. Be clear and concise if there's anything of substance to be said. Otherwise, when you have nothing to say, shh. Okay, um, yes, I know that is harsh, but I'm also speaking to myself on that one. So let's all just learn to be quiet. Okay, so I have heard, so for the last one, I have heard a lot of people view this a little differently. 
Um, I've heard two different sides of this. Um, some people say that it's manipulative and other people say no, I think it's a mature thing to do. Um, but the reality is only you can know. Only you can know if this is right for you. But I'm adding it in here because it applies. <laughs> so the situation is when you don't know the full story, be quiet. Be quiet. Now, when we get triggered and offended by hearsay, it's very easy just to pick a side of the story and to stick to that and to try to make decisions based off of that. Now, instead of popping out, instead of popping off at the mouth or making a clear-cut decision and deciding to cut someone off or deciding to quit your job, whatever the situation is, instead of making that decision, hear the other side first and with a clear head, assess the situation, then act accordingly. So when, <laughs> when you don't take these steps, it is so easy to ruin relationships, you can ruin life plans, there are so many things that you can miss out on simply because you decided to choose hearsay over actually getting the full picture, the full image. Now, also though, I think this applies very well in a lot of relationship situations of just allowing the full story to unfold because you see true character. You see the true character of everybody involved. Um, the person who spoke the hearsay, what they said they did, what didn't actually happen, or what someone is confronted with a situation, how do they act? Like, yeah, yeah, it allows true character to show when you allow someone to respond instead of you just reacting to the hearsay, if that makes any sense. Um, I guess basically what I'm trying to say is if you don't know, basically if you heard something, someone said, example, someone said they saw your man at the club, cool, alright, what are you going to do? Are you going to text them a bunch of angry texts? Are you going to blow them up all day? Or are you going to sit home with a glass of wine and ask him calmly and see how he responds? This sounds fucking crazy coming out of my mouth, but which one sounds like the more mature thing to do? I don't know why that example came to me, but that's the one that came to me because that has never happened to me in my life, but I thought that was funny. Um, yeah, but the truth is be quiet and allow the full story to unfold and assess the situation and act accordingly. That way you allow people to show your true character and with keeping yourself composed and keeping your head like cool, cool, calm and collected, you are, I kind of want to say strengthening your maturity in that on that level instead of just reacting. So I pray all of this makes sense. But again, the message for today is shh, keep your mouth shut. So thank you. I know that this video was a little, eh, <laughs> just a little off, but thank you for joining me again. My name is J.E. Marie. I wish you all the best on your SOL journey and I will see you next time. Bye.